On his interview on Face the Nation, Bernie Sanders had this to say about Pope Francis. Senator, you mentioned that you agree with the Pope on the climate change question. I was wondering, do you agree with him on his harsh condemnation of capitalism? I think what the Pope has been saying in a very profound and deep way is that casino-type capitalism is causing devastating problems, not only in terms of our climate, but in terms of income and wealth inequality. He talks about the fact that all over the world, for example, we are ignoring the needs of senior citizens who often in our country and around the world are lonely, don't have the money they need for medicine or to heat their homes or to eat the food, buy the food that they need to survive. He has talked about an issue, John, that I am talking about a lot, and that is young people throughout the world. In our country today, we have youth unemployment for white kids who graduate high school of 33%, Hispanic kids 36%, African-American kids 51%. And what the Pope is saying, there's something wrong internationally, where almost all of the new wealth in this world is going to people on the top, and so many other people are falling by the wayside. So yes, I think that Pope Francis has played an extraordinarily, extraordinary role he has been a voice of conscience all over the world, speaking out for those people who don't have a voice, those people who are suffering. And what he is saying is enough is enough. Money cannot be the god of life. We have got to look at our kids, look at those people who are hurting. We've got to come together to create a new world and not a world in which a handful of people have so much wealth and so many other people are suffering. I am a great fan of Pope Francis. Overall, I agree 100% with Bernie on this issue. I think that the Pope is really fantastic. However, I probably wouldn't take my compliments of the Pope as far, only because, for one specific reason, it's because the Pope still isn't very good on social issues. Although he's more better when it comes to not judging gay people. He still is, by and large, homophobic. And he's also anti-choice when it comes to women's rights, more specifically, their reproductive rights. So I think that this is still problematic, but... Compared to Pope Benedict, this is like night and day. The difference is just crazy. Now, the reason why I'm covering this video is because there's something that I really wanted to bring up. Now, that's the fact that, look, Bernie Sanders currently, his biggest uphill battle is name recognition. He needs to really get his name out there, specifically to non-white voters. Now, how can that happen? How, what can boost his campaign? Well, Pope Francis. I mean, if Bernie Sanders... Uh, says really nice things about the Pope, maybe Pope Francis will hear him and then endorse Bernie Sanders, which would be huge. I mean, if the Pope knows who you are, then um, the world is going to know who you are if the Pope mentions you. But here's the reason why I, uh, I think this may be problematic, and I'm kind of torn on the issue. Well, first and foremost, yes, I do want Bernie Sanders to win by any means necessary, and I think that the Pope endorsing him would be something that is fantastic. I don't even know if he endorses American politicians, but I mean... Even to just uh, give him a thumbs up, give him a nod, I mean, anything would help. But on the other side of the coin here, I am 100% uh, glued to the idea of separation of church and state. I don't think religion should have any place in politics. I don't think religious figures should really be getting involved with, with uh, politics. But I mean, at the same time, though, he's really helped the political progressive cause. I mean, he's talking about climate change. He's talking about unfettered capitalism. That's really just greed. Um, so I think these are really important issues, and he has a lot of sway among Catholic people, which is a huge percentage of the human population. So Pope Francis, admittedly, is causing me to have cognitive dissonance because it's really been the case for a while that religious people weren't saying very nice things about marginalized groups. He wasn't saying nice things about um, really greedy politicians, but now that that's the case, I kind of feel that I might be a hypocrite because I'm saying, yeah, this is awesome. I'm a cheerleader of Pope Francis, even though I'm an atheist. But at the same time, I mean, should religious figures really be getting involved in political issues? I don't know. Am I willing to jeopardize my principles for that? Maybe I am, because, I mean, I want change to happen in America. We really do need a political revolution. Not a violent revolution, just a social political revolution. And Bernie Sanders is going to help facilitate that. Now, if Pope Francis can really help him with this cause, am I in favor of that? 
I'm going to say yes, even though admittedly it does make me a hypocrite. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Are you an atheist? How do you feel about uh, religion mixing with politics? And are you willing to let it slide if it's Pope Francis? Comment down below.